Steve Bull reporting, and as any one of you who knew Steve Crump knows what I'm about to say is wholly true, he never forgot where he came from. Jamie mentioned that. He grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, in Smoketown, an historically black neighborhood that goes back to the Civil War. Noon now at 11, more on the impact Crump made at his hometown. Now, fans tonight say they are on their way to the promised land. Journalism is a calling. Steve Crump carried that calling from Eastern Kentucky University to a job in Lexington, Kentucky, to Savannah, Georgia, and eventually landing at WBTV in 1984. But he never, ever forgot his Kentucky roots. He'd return to cover stories, including fellow Louisville native Muhammad Ali's journey, his funeral, and more recently, tornadoes that ripped through the eastern part of the state. In fact, Crump himself posted this picture on his Instagram in December 2021 with the proud caption, back in my native bluegrass state, reporting tonight from Mayfield, Kentucky. 100 black men of Louisville. Joining me in the he also attended the 100 Black Men Gala in 2019 in Louisville and always the Kentucky Derby in May. WBTV sister station Wave 3 is in Louisville. Many of their employees know Steve Crump well. Though Crump's look changed as his cancer continued, the love everyone had for him never faltered. He was inducted into the Kentucky Journalism Hall of Fame in 2020, but not all of his accolades revolved around journalism. There is a brick that resides on a wall inside Jefferson County Public Schools with Crump's name and a plaque in the Catholic high school from where he actually graduated, Trinity. He was proud of Trinity. Interestingly though, Crump was only there his senior year of high school. His previous Catholic high school, a place he returned to Louisville to remember a few years ago. Before there were the athletic football dynasties of Trinity and St. X, there was Flagge. Eventually shut down from financial difficulties and that's when he transferred. Steve Crump, a man who broke barriers, built bridges, inspired many, taught strangers, remained curious and full of passion. And tonight